Welcome to Viewport. Viewport is a graphical application running on your PC that connects to the parallax propeller to show all sorts of information about your program. Let's get started with the tutorials that are part of Viewport. These are the tutorials. We'll start with the 4-bit counter. We can select it and load it to the propeller. Once Viewport connects to the propeller, Viewport shows me a new user interface that can be defined by the propeller programmatically. I have a time scale for this logic state analyzer and I show a number of traces that represent the pins on the propeller. Just like a logic state analyzer, I can change the trigger points. In this case going from pin 16 to pin 19. I currently have a spin program running on a propeller that outputs this waveform. I can change one variable running in that program by changing this dial back and forth. Let's look at that program. To view the source code for my spin program, I go back to the welcome view, select the program I want to look at, and click on view code. This brings up my code in the Parallax Propeller tool. There is some comment about the program, and then a couple include lines that include the conduit and the quick sample object, and the actual program. The actual program spends time in this repeat loop. Basically, the pins on 16 through 20 are toggled with a counter, and I wait a certain amount of time that's dependent on this variable called freak. I can optionally configure viewport by specifying some configuration strings. They tell viewport the names of the bits, they tell viewport how to display the graph, the logic state analyzer, what to trigger on, and they also build up the dial text and scroll controls. Let's look at the spin code for this one. We select view code, and here's our program. There's some comments. This program uses a repeat loop that increments a counter and sets it to zero when it reaches a thousand. It's timed by a wait count instruction that depends on the freak variable for its timing. To configure a viewport, I have these configuration lines, one which sends up the variables, counter and freak, one that sets up the DSO with a time scale and a trigger and also a background, and a frequency control that has a dial associated with it. When I load this tutorial, it brings up the DSO view, showing the waveform and giving me a adjustable trigger point, time scale, adjustable vertical resolution, and I can move this whole signal back and forth just by dragging it left and right and up and down. On the bottom, I see a number of measurements for this signal. Um, the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude, the minimum, maximum, the mean, and also the frequency that it's measuring. I could change the frequency using this dial, so going from um, 1 hertz all the way to 10 hertz, and the view will adjust. Let's try one more tutorial, the RS-232 pattern. I select it and click View Code to see what the code looks like. This program sends out two bytes. The first is a counter that increments from 0 to 250, and the second is a variable called code, which Viewport has control over using a scroll and a text. I also have an LED, which I have control over within Viewport via a multi-control. Let's load this to the propeller and start with viewport. In this case we see the logic state analyzer again and we see a RS-232 signal which is counting up in the first byte and the second byte where we can put different values into it. We also have the LED multi-control, 
and we can click to send different values and the multi control also accepts input so when the this pin goes up and down the LED shows up and doesn't show up thanks for watching